गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू एक लव्य ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एज यू ऑल नो दैट इन लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस अ टाइगर इन द हाउस चैप्टर सेकेंड टूडे वी डिस्कस पोएम पोएम दैट इज द फील्ड माउस द फील्ड माउस माउस चैप्टर नेम इज पोएम नेम इज वॉट द फील्ड माउस मीन्स माउस विच रोमिंग इन द फील्ड ओके so this is the chapter the poem the field mouse this is written by poet is cecil what is the name of poet listen carefully cecil francis alexander cecil francis alexander is that clear this is the name of the poet okay so what is the poem what the poem poet wants to tell in the poem first of all listen summary of the poem means brief uh, description of the poem the poem poet want to tell about the field mouse which is based the this poem is based on the field mouse okay this is based on the field mouse which had a soft fur means we are talking about the mouse mouse which have a soft fur has a soft fur and round eyes and moves through the long grass jo ki grasses mein ghumte hain and when the acorn or oak nut fruit and berry fall on the ground agar uh, acorn no, uh, nut fruits aakar jab ground mein girte hain to the mouse seen at this time it comes out of its hole to wo khud ke bill mein se nikalte hain to eat the fruits fruits khane ke liye okay understand फील्ड माउस का मतलब है कि जो माउस खेतों में घूमते हैं और जो बिलों में छुपे रहते हैं वेन दे ओट वेन दे ओक नट फ्रूट्स फॉल्स डाउन दे कम आउट फ्रॉम द होल एंड देन ईट फ्रूट्स दिस इज द पोएम ऑफ फील्ड माउस नाउ इन सेकेंड इज मीन वट पोएट वॉन्ट्स टू टेल दैट द पोएट आस्क द माउस वेट इट ड्यूरिंग विंटर लिसन वी स्टार्ट Where the acorn tumbles down, where the ash tree sheds its berry, with your fur so soft and brown, with your eyes so round and merry, scarcely moving the long grass, field mouse, I can see you pass. What poet wants to tell that the field mouse have soft fur and round eyes. Unke eyes charu aur ghumti hai. The field mouse roaming in all the ground. they roaming here and there and what they want they search their food then when oak nut fruits come falls down a crown tumbles down they come out from the hole they soft uh, soft fur and round eyes field mouse come from the hole and then they eat the, that fruits okay is scarcely moving the long pass uh, long grass me aakar and they eat all fruits field mouse i can see you pass hum aapko dekh sakte hain nikalte hue now you all see in the picture also everyone see that how field mouse come from the hole and then eat fruits and nuts clear now next paragraph is little things in what dark den lie you all the winter sleeping till warm weather comes again then once more i see you peeping round about the tall tree roots nimbling at their fallen fruits now in second stanza what poet want to tell poet ask the mouse what it does during winter season ki aap log winter season mein kya karoge abhi to aap nikal jate ho but what you do in winter season hiding in its hole aap apne hole mein chupe rahenge द माउस इज ओनली सीन ड्यूरिंग समर्स माउस जो है वो समर्स में ही दिखाई देते हैं पिपिंग फ्रॉम दी होल और वो होल में से पिपिंग करते रहते हैं मीन्स आवाज करते रहते हैं चू 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 लाइक दिस ऑन द ट्रीज द माउस कम आउट टू फीड ऑन द फ्रूट ऑफ द ट्रीज द माउस कम्स आउट टू फीड ऑन द फ्रूट ऑफ द ट्रीज मीन्स पोएट उनसे क्या पूछना चाह रहा है कि आप विंटर्स में क्या करोगे तो उन्होंने रिप्लाई किया कि बस वो फ्रूट्स लेकर फिर से वो खुद के होल में चले जाएंगे ओके मींस मोस्टली दे कम आउट इन समर ओनली क्लियर 
So, second paragraph is this, stanza is this. Now, third is field mouse, field mouse do not go where the farmer stakes his treasure. Find the nut that falls below, eat the crone at your pleasure. But you must not steal the grain he has stacked with so much pain. Now, in the third stanza, what poet wants to tell? The poet requests the mouse. Poet kya kar raha hai? Mouse se request kar raha hai not to eat the grains that farmers grow. Jo farmers ne grain lagaye, please unko mat khao. By working hard, unho ne bhoat mehnat se lagaye hai. He requests the mouse to eat only the fruits that are fallen on the ground. Wo poet request kar raha hai means farm ki a farmers ne jo grains lagaye, wo mat khaiye. Jo fallen means jo fruits niche gir raha hai ground mein, please unhi ko khaiye. Aap farmers ki jo mehnat hai, unko kharaab mat kari. Clear? This is the third stanza. Understand all three stanza? Make your hole where mosses spring, underneath the tall oak's shadow. Pretty, quite harmless thing, play about the sunny meadow. Keep away from corn and house, none will harm you little mouse. Now, in the fourth stanza, what poet want to tell? Poet again requests the mouse to make hole. The place where mouse leaves means make hole under the tall oak tree. कि आप जो अपना bill है, वो एक अंदर बड़े oak tree के नीचे बनाईए, not in the house or near the stored grains. जहाँ पे grain stored कर रखा है, वहाँ पे अपना bill मत बनाईए. These poet request again from the for the from the mouse, and in this way nobody would harm mouse. हम आपको कोई नुकसान नहीं पहुंचाएंगे आप अपना जो बिल है वो हो घर पे मत बनाइए एंड प्लीज डोंट मेक योर होल नियर द स्टोर्ड ग्रेन्स जहां पे ग्रेन स्टोर्ड हो रखा है वहां पर आप अपना बिल मत बनाइए प्लीज अगर आप नहीं बनाते हैं तो नो वन विल हार्म यू इज दैट क्लियर ऑल फोर पैराग्राफ्स आर वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल्सो एंड वेरी इजी एंड वेरी इजी ऑल्सो सो Everyone understand this poem? This poem is very interesting about the field mouse. Means, we have field mouse ko roka hai ki please aap ye ye kaam mat kariye. Clear? So, in this as such no hard words are there. Directly, everyone open your notebook and you all note down word meaning first. Clear? Everyone open your notebook and note down word meanings. First is a cron. The fruit of the oak. The fruit of the oak. Second is tumbles. Rolls down. Rolls down. Third is scarcely. Rarely. Nibbling is. Fourth is nibbling. Eating with a small, eating with a small quick bites. Jaldi jaldi khana. And next is stacks. Stacks is what? Gathers or places in a pile. Gathers or places in a pile. Clear? These are the word meaning. Next is question answers. Everyone note down question answers also. Note down question answers also of the field mouse poem. Question number one is what? Refer to the first stanza. Refer to the first stanza. And describe the and describe the appearance of the field mouse. And describe the appearance of the field mouse. Answer number one is answer number one is what? The field mouse has 
सॉफ्ट फर एंड राउंड आईज सॉफ्ट फर एंड राउंड आईज क्लियर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेकेंड इज वॉट Why isn't the field mouse? Why isn't the field mouse seen during the winter season? The winter season. During the winter season, in winter. the field mouse in winter the field mouse sleeps sleeps hibernating this is hiber h hibernating through the cold season through the cold season question number 3 is what when does the field mouse when does the field mouse become active again become active again the field mouse the field mouse the field mouse becomes the field mouse becomes active again when the when the warm weather when the warm weather comes in spring when the warm weather comes in spring question number 4 describe the food habits of the field mouse of the field mouse describe the food habits of the field mouse question number 4th is the field mouse eat nuts eat nuts fruits acorn corn and grain it collects it collects these from the from the meadows it collects these from the meadows and fields meadows and fields and and sometimes from the farmers sometimes from the farmers greenery from the farmers greenery fifth is question number fifth is what what does the poet forbid the field mouse the field mouse to do answer fifth is what the poet forbids the poet forbids the field mouse the poet forbids the field mouse from stealing from stealing the grain stealing the grain from the greenery from the greenery where the farmer has where the farmer has stored it where the farmer has stored it question number 6 refer to the 
last stanza and explain the poet's advice the poet's advice to the field mouse the poet's advice to the field mouse the poet advised the field mouse the poet advised the field mouse to make to make it whole to make it whole among the moss to make it whole among the moss under the under the tall oak and play and play harmlessly in its in its shed or on the sunny meadow or on the or on the sunny meadow sorry sunny meadow but to avoid the corn and house of the farmer of the farmer to prevent any harm befalling him befalling him next question number 7th is what what do you understand by the farmer stack his treasure the farmer stack his treasure the farmer's treasure in is the farmer's treasure is his harvest harvest of grain grain and corn he stacks in it in his house it in is house it in his house now question number 8 and 9 last it is what what does the poet mean by pretty quite quite harmless thing harmless thing the poet finds the little field mouse the little field mouse pretty pretty harmless and quite pretty harmless and quite now question is ninth question read the following you all listen carefully ninth question read the following line from the poem and answers the following questions that follow what are what is the line i like write line only he has stacked with so much pain with so much pain questions are a question is who is implied by he who is implied by he so what is the answer of this who is implied by he he is a farmer answer is he is a farmer okay now question number b is what
now b what has been stagged what has been stagged so answer b is what he has stagged grain and corn he has stagged grain and corn c is what does the poet sympathize does the poet sympathize with the person referred to here why why answer is the poet sympathizes the poet sympathizes with the farmer and respects the fact that he has collected collected his treasure with so much pain with so much pain at the same time he at the same time he sympathizes he sympathizes with the with the little field mouse little field mouse who has hibernated all winter and is now hungry and looking hungry and looking for food but to keep it safe he advises the mouse to keep away from the farmers from the farmers house and corn house and corn clear so these are the question answers okay so here this field mouse chapter is completed okay in next class we discuss next chapter thank you have a nice day